Hey, Stan Brock, how big a moment is this? Well, for me, it's the beginning of the possibility, or should I say the probability, of us being able to deliver emergency medicine <clears throat> to our operations in the Amazon and in Africa and in Haiti. And right here in the United States. Uh, well, of course, 90% of what we do is here in the United States. And um, so it's a, it really is a big moment. Are we going to catch up with the Europeans, you think? Well, I think that's probably up to the FAA uh, to make these uh, obvious regulations that are needed not too draconian. And then we will be able to catch up. We can't have drones flying around in conflict with sure. air traffic. As a pilot, I understand that. Do you think this is basically for use in rural areas? Is that what it's about? Well, I'm sure it's, it's going to be in universal use in the, next, uh, in the next decade or so. But as far as our concept here is the delivery. Imagine a couple living uh, perhaps 10 miles away from here. And, uh, and my colleague Teresa understands this, yeah. that there are old people that can't get out of their homes, that don't have a car that works. And maybe in, in inclement weather, it might be a couple of hours before yeah. Teresa would be able to deliver a package of emergency medicine to those people. The drone can take it there in a couple of minutes. Drones are going to save lives and change lifestyles in the near future. And to commemorate this historic moment, as the first governor in history to receive a delivery by drone, we'd like to gift you the package oh, for the medicine yeah. cabinet. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank you. Better win the Super Bowl. <laughs> we want to lead the nation on this, not only to provide health care to so many folks, but it's going to be in everybody's homes in the future, in the next 10 years. Drones are going to be part of everybody's lives. And I just want to make sure the Commonwealth is the leader uh, on UAV technology. Yes. Bravo. Thank yes. you. Thank you.